External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar reacts to Brampton float on Indira Gandhi assassination, said India fails to understand why Canada gives space to separatists and extremists other than for World Bank politics. Now, this after a very, very disturbing tableau was displayed in Canada depicting the assassination of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. This was the work of pro Khalistan activists and separatists in Canada, Brampton. The external affairs minister has now reacted to the same because the Congress has been condemning it and demanding that the external affairs minister immediately take it up with the Canadian administration and strict action in fact should be taken against those who were responsible for this absolutely shameful display on a five kilometer long parade. Let's listen in to the external affairs minister. Uh, regarding the this float issue used, I, let me let me actually uh, answer it because there, I think there's a bigger issue involved, uh, and the bigger issue involved is really the space that Canada has uh, continuously and uh, frankly uh, to us, uh, you know, uh, we are at a loss to understand other than uh, the requirements of vote bank politics. Why anybody would do this? Uh, because if you look at their history, I mean, you would imagine that, that they learn by the history and they wouldn't like to repeat their history. So, so you know, uh, it isn't only one incident, however egregious it may be. I think there is a larger underlying issue about uh, the space which is given to uh, separatists, to extremists, to people who advocate violence. And I think it's not good for the relationship and I think it's not good for Canada. So that is what the external affairs minister has said, that this is not just about one incident, however egregious it might be. India fails to understand the kind of space that is given to separatists of the kind who support a separate state like Khalistan, the way that they are supported in Canada if it weren't for simply vote bank politics. Akshay Dongri is joining us over the phone line right now. Akshay, of course, uh, the external affairs minister, they're joining voice with the Congress in condemning this uh, display in Canada. But will the external affairs ministry lodge a formal protest as well? The kind of uh, reaction, sharp reaction that has come from the Foreign Affairs Minister is clearly indicative of uh, what the Government of India feels about this particular issue and the issue at large as well as far as the activities of Khalistani extremists are concerned. It is not just Canada, it is uh, there in Australia. We have seen what happened in the United Kingdom, outside the Indian High Commission in London. Uh, so there is a larger issue where the West uh, actually needs to understand and be sensitive about uh, the history and uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, security concerns of India. Uh, there is, uh, it seems, uh, a free space given, especially in Canada, to uh, these colorists and extremists where they not just mock uh, the, uh, you know, the painful past of, of India, but also uh, there, is a, there is a larger uh, issue here uh, that concerns uh, the security uh, and, and uh, sovereignty of our country. Uh, there, uh, the Congress party initially launched the protest, but now uh, the, uh, the government of India as well echoing the same And uh, this is a valid question that what is exactly is the problem with the West understanding uh, the issues of, of, uh, uh, of Indian security. If, if the same kind of parade would have been carried out by, by some extremist group, uh, you know, displaying uh, the assassination of uh, John F. Kennedy, the, the assassinated president of the U.S., uh, will uh, there be no uh, similar kind? Of, will there be similar kind of apathy by the Canadian government? Is what uh, the Indian government is also asking. Right. So okay. that is a larger question, uh, Palmi. Uh, but it remains to be seen that uh, till what extent the government of India will go as far as sure. uh, launching okay. a formal protest is concerned.